Hi, happy Friday. Um, this is Trans Family Voices, and this is my Friday video. Um, I'm recording it a little bit late. Um, later on in the day, I normally do it in the morning or the day before. Um, but this week, I'm actually in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, so my schedule is a little bit off. Um, but I'm here uh, doing a voice and horn classical recital with my friend who is getting her doctoral degree here. So this week has been a little bit crazy and the recital's on Monday, so you know, we're rehearsing and, and all that stuff. So it's a little bit late, I apologize, but um, anyway, so this week we are talking about things that we miss about our partner before they were trans or our relationship before um, that happened. and. I've watched all the other ladies' videos, and I I love hearing you know all about it and their the things that they miss. And I think sometimes we feel a little bit guilty saying we miss things, but um, I think it's I think it's great to admit it. You know, with change comes comes lots of new and different things, and I think regret sometimes or missing things sometimes is just a part of that. Um, but for me, I feel like I may be in a little bit. Of a different situation. Um, I know Kim talked about meeting uh, her partner when they were already, you know, trans or or feeling that way, and um, I relate to that. But I have never identified as anything aside from a straight woman, and um, so I feel like not a lot has changed in terms of how people view me, in terms of you know things. Um, yeah, just how people view me and things like that. And when I met Dylan, um, or rather when we started dating, because we kind of met um, a long time before he was trans or considering anything like that. Um, but we, I mean, we met because we were at school together, but we were never involved with each other. Um, but we really started, well, we re-met and started talking and getting to know each other and dating when um, Dylan was already... Um, identifying as trans and um, starting that process so I don't know I think I've been really 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 racking my brain to think about things that I miss and I don't I really can't come up with anything and this week I feel so silly because you know normally I have a lot of things to say um but um yeah I mean it's just kind of been the way it's been. I mean, in the beginning, of course, you know, like there was challenges with passing and things like that, but we, I don't know, we've just kind of been in this relationship the whole time, so I don't really miss anything. Um, I think something interesting, though, about this whole video project with Trans Family Voices, and especially, I think maybe this week, um, is I've been having a lot of questions about myself. Um, you know, if anyone asks me, I still say, you know, I identify as a straight woman. And I think that's kind of confusing, you know, because a lot of people would say, well, you're in a queer relationship. And um, I don't deny that, you know. But for me, I guess I haven't ever really questioned that, you know, my specific orientation. Um, but lately, you know, the last little bit, I really have been questioning it, you know, wondering, well, am I this way? Or, you know, do I have feelings like maybe I would want to identify myself in a different way? Um, just say, you know, I'm, I'm queer or, or something like that. I mean, I don't really know, but something along those lines. Um, and I think that these videos and this whole project are great for other people to see, but selfishly, I think I've taken a lot from it already, and, and it makes me think about myself and um, kind of re-examine some things that maybe I wouldn't have. Um, but yeah, going all introspective right now <laughs> on this video. But um, yeah, all in all, I feel like I don't have a whole lot to say this week because um, there's not really anything that I miss because our relationship is now kind of has as, as it always has been. Um, 
So yeah, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's gonna be a short one and maybe not too informative, um, but all the other videos this week were wonderful and we will have a new topic for you next week. Um, everybody enjoy your weekend. It's absolutely gorgeous here. It's sunny, it's 80 degrees and there's a pool, so I think I may go check that out. Um, but everybody have a great and safe weekend and see you next week. Bye.